There's two things I really enjoy, chocolate and coffee, and Costa Rica has both in abundance. But it's not just the finished product. You can actually explore the process, how these are grown, and the manufacturing that goes into some of it. Now keep in mind, with the cocoa bean that's processed in Costa Rica, they don't actually have any of the refinement plants there. They're just processing the bean. But you could find artisans who will do small batches, as well as tours that you could take that walk you through the process. I found it absolutely fascinating. Something I've enjoyed for years, I knew very little about. Plus, the whole process is incredibly photogenic. Now, for me, I brought a very shallow lens and worked close. The ability to really see things and get up there and get the details came in handy. You'll find on these tours that a small short lens that has a really fast aperture is going to come in handy. By controlling depth of field, you can drive what's in focus and really tell an interesting narrative story. Plus, a lot of times the tours are in areas that are slightly lower light, so I'd encourage you to shoot fast. Visiting a coffee farm is also quite interesting. The plants grow in a wide range of sizes, and I wasn't prepared to go as tall as I was expecting. So consider bringing a multi-stage tripod and even perhaps a step stool or a case to get up on. But the fields are quite interesting and you will find many plantations that are open for you stopping and taking pictures as well of course as sampling the wares. Both of these agricultural plants allow you to see a few things about the country that are interesting. You'll find core commerce, so this is wonderful commercial type photography. And you'll also find beautiful portrait opportunities. Along the way to some of these plants, I encountered interesting craftsmen, colorful wagons, local farmers. If you want to make some wonderful human portraits, going near the farming communities is a great place to do so. Additionally, you can combine a portrait length lens with a nice wide angle lens to make sure that you're capturing all sorts of subjects. But in both cases, I found that having my higher quality glass with very fast lenses gave me the flexibility to do more handheld shooting in small spaces, or the ability to pull in a lot more light to pull in all the details of these agricultural undertakings.